Okay. Ryan Steinelson here with Accelerate Marketing. We get your phone to ring. That's what our company does. And I have Kevin Davidson from Empire Industries here, the infamous Kevin Davidson. He is a marketing rock star, man. We've known each other for, for a while. And man, it, it, is, it is amazing to see um, the results that you're getting. And I know that other property managers are going to be really interested to see um, what's going on over there. I'm going to give you a second to introduce yourself. And let me just first like set the stage here. The number one question that we get from property managers is how do I get my phone to ring? And more importantly though, um, and Kevin's like cutting right to the chase because he's showing his screen right now. I mean, this is, you know, we don't, we're, this is what we're going to talk about. And I really appreciate Kevin for giving us a behind the scenes of what they're doing to get the success that they are. This is something that you and I have been talking about for years, Kevin. And, but before we go into that, um, why don't you introduce yourself for anybody that doesn't know you, which I can't imagine anybody wouldn't know you, you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, thank you for the accolade. Uh, yeah. Um, Kevin Davidson, I'm the marketing director at empire industries, property management, uh, that's based out of Houston, Texas. We operate in Houston, Dallas, and Fort Worth. Uh, we manage just under a thousand properties and I've been, I've been a marketing professional in the marketing field since the year 2000. So almost 20 years, 19 years. Um, and I've been with Empire and more than working with Ryan for uh, the end of June will be five years. Um, when Empire hired me, they hired me because uh, they were generating about 27 leads a month and there really wasn't anybody to manage what they were trying to do from a marketing perspective. Um, and basically they just told me, is said, you know, create a marketing campaign, a program for the company, um, let's, you know, generate and, and, and create a machine and just yeah. see where it goes from there. And so what I've done over the last five years is I have tried everything you could possibly try with <laughs> in the property management industry, uh, marketing wise to generate leads anywhere from old school magazine advertising all the way to modern Google AdWords now. And, and, uh, and Ryan knows everything that I've tried to do because Ryan has been <laughs> helping me for the last five years do a lot of these things. Uh, and uh, I've gotten to the point to where I, when I, when I exhausted it, all the resources, all the ideas that I had, not that I don't have any more ideas, but I've tried everything that you could possibly try I ask myself the question, how do I know if this stuff is really working and how do I know yeah. if this stuff is really falling in line with what Empire's goals are as far as numbers goes, cost per yeah. and all that stuff. And so I came up with the idea of putting together a spreadsheet that we're going to talk about today that, that shows you how to do this. Yeah. And, that, and, that's, and that's really the, the ne next to the question of how do I get my phone to ring? The next question is, is, once they get a little bit more savvy, which is where you're at, um, because you've been doing this for a while, is which of the ad, you know, solutions that are out there, you know, Facebook ads, Google ads, you know, you've got niche specific, you know, solutions that give you, you know, shared leads, which we could go down that rabbit hole as well and, and talk and, and, and talk about the, uh, the elephant in the room with that with that whole thing which would probably like surprise a lot of people that that you know that uh, that some of these vendors that actually share lead or sell leads actually share them with a, a bunch and a lot of a lot of people don't know that but yeah. um but but and and there's a, so there's a lot of different solutions out there the big ones being google ads facebook ads how do you know which one's working um and more importantly um do you know your numbers so that you can even determine which one's working, uh, which lead source is working. And I'm just going to set the stage here to say, I, I don't want to steal your thunder, Kevin, but um, before we even get there, let me just, let me circle back to one thing that you had mentioned. You guys were generating like 20 to 30 leads when you came in five years ago. A lot of those leads were from what we did foundationally back in the day, the good old days only six years ago, which was right. was from, from lo Google local optimization and just getting reviews. You guys, you know, and, and it still works, right? And and now, you know, that that's still your number one source. I mean, it's one of your, it's your number one source of leads still to this day, right? It's the number one reason why we're on page one of Google. Yeah, yeah, is is you're on the maps and you're, yep, and you're, and we'll go into that in a second. But um, let's, now let's just, 
let's set the stage here because this this is what this really means. I mean, let me let's just 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 go right to the to the to the to the meat here is you were you were spending a significant amount more money. I don't know if you want to get into the specifics, but this has helped you bottom line reduce your ad spend by 75% and get the same results. It's actually a little bit more than that, but yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go into the numbers and stuff. I'd like okay. to begin with where I began and, and kind of yeah. through a real quick timeline of where we're at now. Go ahead. Um, you know, in the beginning when they hired me, the, the, the goal was, Kevin, just generate leads. We just need to get the phone to ring. I don't care where they come yeah. from. I don't care how much you spend or where you, what you spend on. I just need the phone to ring. Okay, so yeah. I sat down and not being from the real estate world or the property management world, um, just having a marketing background, a marketing degree and, and experience, um, I just asked myself, you know, where, what is our target market? Where are they? What are we trying to sell to them? And how much is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, when I answered, when I was able to get the answer to those four questions from the owners of Empire, then I just went out on my own on the internet and through colleagues and through people like you and people that I met. And I just created a network and I just asked people all these questions. Where do you find these people? Where are, you, where are the, you know, people that have been in the industry for a while? Well, where are these clients at? How are you finding them? You know, Ryan, how, how can you help me get leads from your, what you do for, for property management companies? And I just yeah. absorbed and soaked up all this information and I let anybody and everybody help me that wanted to help me. And then I took all that information and I put it down and I said, okay, these people that are offering me this help and these people that can do these things for me, what is it they can do and where does it fit as far as what kind of a campaign I can run? Yeah. And when it was with you, with your services, you know, it was Google AdWords, you know, and early in the day it was Google yep. AdWords and it was uh, uh, SEO and, and, and reviews yep. and like that. So I spent the better part of about a year um, or six months, let's say six months, learning where, where to find my target market. Okay. Yeah. How could I find them? And I came up with literally, and this will blow your mind, but Ryan's seen this. I came up literally mm. with a hundred ways to market empire to my target market. Now, wow. did all hundred ways work? Of course not. They didn't. But so that's it. I didn't know at the time what would or wouldn't work. I tried them all. Now, not all at the same time, but I tried them all. So I had 10 different ways or, or, or platforms that I wanted to market. Yeah. Internet, networking, um, uh, pay-per-click, blogs, things like that. And then of those 10 ideas, I had 10 ways to do each one of them. So 10 times Got 10. It. Okay. Hey, Ke uh, Kevin, really quick. Can, can you stop sharing your screen so that we can, so that people can see you better for yeah. just for right now? Yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, yeah. Oh, where's that? Should be somewhere there. So, uh, well, where did it go? I don't know. I don't want to, you're on a roll. Come on. Um, well, should be down below there. I, that's what I thought, but nothing's popping that's up. That's right. That's all right. Okay. Can you still see me? Yeah, I okay. can. Okay. Um, and my pen. There we go. Okay. Um, so I went through that whole process and, 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 and uh, oh, it's over here. Hang on. Okay. It, yeah, you got multiple screens. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So I, I went through that whole process and I spent about six months just throwing things on the wall to see what would stick. Okay. And I had some success. We went from about 27 to 30 leads a month to about we, my first month of really generating some new leads from new sources was about 60. We were only in Houston, but I started in, uh, they hired me in June from June to December, the first year. Um, I just did all this homework and I did all this, networking and meeting Ryan and run people like Ryan, all that stuff. And then in January, I started actually doing some marketing. Um, and every month since then, which was four five years ago, four and a half years ago, uh, my leads have increased every month, month over month, year over year um, for four and a half years. Um, mm -hmm. So I went from 27 leads a month 
to my best month was about 230 leads in July last year. So now how did I get there? Okay, so I threw all the spaghetti in the wall to see what would fix, to what would stick. And what I did was I started what we call testing and measuring everything. So I would take how many leads did I get? And at the time, were they hot, warm, or cold? Meaning mm -hmm. when, they, when they contacted us, did, did they have a property that we could manage? Were they looking for property management? Were they just tire kickers? You know, were they tenants that pushed the wrong button? You know, things like that. And I kind of put those in categories and I kind of measured and graded the campaigns, the leads that were coming in to determine if the leads that were coming in for each one of those campaigns, if they were good. Mm -hmm. if, they were, if they were actually generating interest from people that were my target market that were looking for property management. Because I don't care if your budget's $2 or $200,000. If you spend $200,000 in the wrong spot, it doesn't matter. You're not going to generate any business. You're just going to increase your expenses, which at the end is going to close your doors. Yeah. So I took that to the next level. And over the next couple of years, I concentrated on and getting as many leads as I possibly could. Okay. I fine tuned the hundred programs and I got it down to about 25 or 30 that were generating leads. I didn't care at the time about the cost. They were generating <laughs> leads. How many leads can Gavin get? That's how I got up to 230 leads or whatever the number was. Blows everybody's mind. I have yet to meet someone that owns a property management company. It's gotten 230 leads in a one month's time. Yeah. I mean, it's not possible. I did it. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Then what I did was I said, okay, at what cost is it costing me 200 to get 230 leads? And how is that cost affecting the company? The bottom yeah. line, because if I'm bringing in 230 leads a month, but we can't close those 230 leads and I'm spending all that money, it's doing no good for anybody. Okay. Right. So I used to have a spreadsheet that said, how many leads we had, they're hot, warm, or cold, how many doors we got, how many conversions, how many customers, and that was it. So I can tell you how many leads I got, how many of them were good leads or not, and whether or not we were closing doors. But what I couldn't do at the time is I couldn't tell you how much each one of those campaigns cost me, and more importantly, how much each one of those leads cost me, how much, and whether or not the cold leads were costing me more money than the hot leads, whether or not we were closing the doors from closing doors from the lead campaigns that we were getting that were hot or not. Okay. What I'm saying is, is if you're running a campaign that's getting 150 leads a month, but you're only closing two doors a month from that campaign and you're spending $2,000 a month on that campaign, your cost per conversion is a thousand bucks. Yep. Is that smart? Mm, maybe if you're, if you if your customer lifetime value is $50,000, exactly. it might be. It depends on your goals. It depends on your goals. Okay. And our goals are not lifetime value. Our goals are annual value because Got it. we, we sign management agreements based on a year's lease. Okay. Now that doesn't mean a whole, a whole nother conversation is well, how long does our client stay with us? That's a whole nother conversation. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. Yeah. Yeah. Based on a year. So, then I started looking at the campaigns that I'm doing and, and Ryan mentioned it earlier. There's a lot of, there's several pay-per-click opportunities out there that will generate leads. Mm -hmm. They'll generate leads. They'll generate them quickly. Mm -hmm. They might have been generating them quick, quickly at a cost that you can absorb. But mm -hmm. I started what I call drilling down on every single lead that came in, where it came from, how much of us spending on that campaign, and then dividing that cost by how many leads and opportunity or leads and hot warm or cold leads I've got from that campaign, and whether or not yeah. we close them, I started realizing that I was spending a m much more money in areas that were generating a bunch of leads, but we weren't closing any doors. Yeah, we weren't getting any good leads. And Ryan touched on one of those earlier when you said some of those campaigns would actually share leads. Now, I'm not going to tell you which campaign or which company I'm talking about, but 
there are pay-per-click opportunities out there that when you, they're bid-based opportunity, uh, lead opportunity program, you bid on the cost of the lead, you can bid the lowest or the highest you want, it puts you in order based on how much you want, but what I learned, and I was embarrassed at the time that I learned it, because I didn't, I was shocked that I didn't know it, but those, some of those pay-per-click uh, campaigns, those companies, when the client says, yes, I want more information, and they put in their name, address, and email address, and phone number, and then they hit submit, before it actually goes through, a pop-up comes up and goes, would you like to also get a quote from these five other companies? Yeah. Basically what happens is you just paid for a lead for your competition. Yeah. Well, and, and let, let's be clear though, that that's not Google ads. I mean, it's not, it's not no, Google ads. It's, yeah. It's, 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 and, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's really what it is. It's, it's not even a pay per click. It's a, it's a pay per lead system that you're actually paying for. It's not, there's a difference. And I just want, I just want, well, I don't want people to get confused between pay per click, which is Google ads and pay per lead, which is some other companies out there that, that sell leads like that. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's, yeah. So when I started, analyzing that those campaigns alone what i realized was i was spending three times as much money on those campaigns even though i was getting more leads the quality of leads that i was getting overall were actually coming from other places that i was spending less money and getting less leads from but we were closing more doors so what happened was, is I realized I was spending over 50% of my marketing budget on areas, on campaigns that were actually costing the company more money than I needed to spend to generate the same return on investment, the same. Outcome. That's huge. Yeah, because I, this is the number one question I get is how do I get more doors how do I get more leads? And, and this is, this might be a good time, Kevin, to go right to the spreadsheet and look at, look, I mean, I, I, unless you want to, you want to go further down the road, because I mean, I, I, I the thing that I is going to be very important for people to understand. And we've got about, you know, about 20 more minutes to go here, 20, 20 minutes, more minutes or so. But bottom line is, is I, I want them to see how you've delineated very specifically your opportunities from your leads, just the structure alone is super valuable. The way that you've actually structured what an opportunity is, how you define an opportunity, how you define a lead, how you define, you know, the, and how that's different, how an opportunity is different from the number of doors, you know, which in property management, you have to keep track of these numbers because, the, because it definitely affects your bottom line. And, and, and so with that, I mean, do you want to, is there anything else that you want to, no, no, you want to, I... okay. I can go right into it, and, and, and I, okay. want to, I want to start this off by shocking everybody. Okay. Up until January of this year, I was spending on three cities that we're in, my budget was $25,000 a month. Okay, I just want everybody to remember that, okay? $25,000 a month, I was getting between 150 and 200 leads a month, Good month for about 220, 230, but average between 150 and 200 a month at $25,000. So let me share my screen and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what I've done was, okay, I have, I put every campaign on a spreadsheet. That's all these down right here, okay? And then I also wanted to know across the top here how much of each one of these I got or how much they cost me and what the conversion rate was for each campaign specifically. Yeah. Now, at the top here, these green numbers, these are my goals. These are the numbers that my, that the owners of Empire have said that your numbers need to fall within these parameters or they're not acceptable. We're not, we're not going to do them anymore. It's, it's too much, it's either cost too much or it's not generating the ROI that we want it to generate. So I'm sure everybody, especially marketing people have heard when you, if you spend money on a campaign that doesn't work, then after you've tested and measured enough to realize that it's not gonna work, don't, you turn off the campaign, but you don't turn off the money. You just move the money to another campaign that is generating and hopefully yeah. that will give you more. So yeah. Yeah. this is starting in January, 
Okay, now I have gone for four months now, uh, we're in May, but this is through April. So every cell that's highlighted in red is a cell that is above the goal that we would like to meet. Okay, yep. so if you look at this, for Google yeah. AdWords in January, I got three leads. Okay, those three leads cost me $500 for the month total. But if you divide that by three, it cost me $167 per lead. All right, and, and let me preface this by saying, I said earlier we get leads and we get hot, warm, or cold leads. Now we get, we call them leads and opportunities. A lead is anybody that contacts Empire Industries about for our services, anybody. It can be an agent, a vendor, it can be a property management lead, realty services, a tenant, it can be anybody, that's a lead. What an opportunity is, is a lead that contact us for property management that either has or is going to have a door that we would be willing to manage in the next 90 days. Okay? Yeah. That is an opportunity. Mm -hmm. That is considered a good lead for Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So in saying that, the AdWords campaign in January didn't generate any opportunities. It cost me 500 bucks. We didn't close any doors. We didn't convert anybody. So right off the bat, this campaign for me is a red flag, okay? Because the goal is $75 per lead, and that cost me 167. 40% conversion rate for lead to opportunities. Well, I didn't get any opportunities, so the conversion rate's zero. I didn't get any good leads, okay? The cost per opportunity has to be 100, under 150 bucks. Well, the cost was 500 bucks, and we didn't get any doors or any conversions or any doors. So right off the bat, that campaign is a red flag. That would be on my list yeah. to look at for February. Yeah. yeah. And just to be clear, we weren't running your AdWords then, right? No. <laughs> no. No. In, I say, I say. Now, in <laughs> all property, this is Ooh. one of those campaigns that um, is the pay for lead. So check this out. I got 51 leads. 51 leads from all property in January. Mm -hmm. It cost me 3,250 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Cost me $64 per lead. So that falls under the goal. So that's good. I got 21 opportunities from those. That means 21 of the 51 of those leads were looking for property management, had something we could manage in the next 90 days. So that conversion rate from opportunities to leads is 41%. Goal is 40, I'm good. Okay? The problem mm -hmm. is, for whatever reason, even though we had 21 opportunities, sales team couldn't close any doors. They didn't close one person from this campaign. Yeah. So I spent 3,250 bucks. The leads and opportunities were good, but the sales department didn't close any doors. Mm -hmm. First thing I would do based on these numbers is I wouldn't worry about marketing. Yeah. I would worry about sales. Yeah. I would go and talk to the sales department and say, hey guys, we got a bunch of leads from our property, and you guys even said 41% of them are opportunities. But you yep. didn't come to the other. So then we would have yep. to dig deeper into the sales process to find out where it's breaking down because obviously there's a challenge there. And uh, and just just the caveat here, most come and by the way, guys. This is gold. You got to literally like, this is what in order for a company to work with us now, they need to have this spreadsheet. This spreadsheet needs to be in place. Um, Kevin and I have been talking about this for since we met that this is what needs to be created. And Kevin is implementing it to a T. Now, the other thing I do want to say is that this is why it's so important to get the other side to identify the other side of those opportunities that come in how many of them converted? You've got to know the, you've got to know how many converted. A lot of the property management companies that I talk to have, they, they don't put the two together. They don't connect the dots between the leads that turn to opportunities that turn into, you know, conversion. They don't, they don't follow it all the way through that. You need to follow those leads all the way through to conversions. And then, and then that's, that's the only way that you can actually make really make something like this work hundred percent. You could get by, with stopping it at the cost per opportunity, 
but it doesn't tell you the whole picture. And that's, that's really, you know, it's just half the picture. I literally, I mean, look, it's literally half right down the middle of the page here. It's half the picture. <laughs> now the other side of the coin is, is that you can do this exercise and just test and measure um, based on the cost, your number of leads versus your conversion. But what that does not tell you is it doesn't take the next step and tell you whether or not the leads that you're generating per campaign are good or not. Yes. I'll tell you if you yes. if you close three doors from 51 leads, you might think yeah. that's good. You close three doors, but that doesn't give you a good enough picture of well, of those 51, were they actually looking for property management? So you don't even yes. know if your message in the ad is working. Yeah. It doesn't yep. take the next step. Okay. Yep. So we got about 15 minutes. So yeah, let's. let's I'm gonna, awesome. I'm to February. Okay. The rest of the stuff. Okay. Looking at same exercise, every one of them you see red. Let's go to February. Okay. We're in January. See the red in January? Yep. See how much less red there is in February. So, based on January's numbers, I took action on some of those campaigns and they improved month to month. Okay? Yep. The one, AdWords is still a problem. Nothing. Yeah. Okay? Yep. I got less leads in for all property, a lower conversion rate. The cost is about the same because I think it was 67 last time. This time we closed three doors. Good. So that's a little bit better, but uh -huh. the conversion rate went down. Yeah. Okay. But if you look at the rest of this, every other campaign that I have, other than AdWords, falls within my goal of 75 bucks. So as Good. of February, I was not running, I was only running one campaign that met or was below my cost per lead. So what does that do? That makes my boss very happy. That means I'm yes. spending the money efficiently. Yep. Spending it in the right places. Only three campaigns fell below the conversion rate of lead to opportunity. What does that tell me? That tells me that the campaigns that I'm running, that I'm spending money on, are generating good leads. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, um, the only two campaign there's only two campaigns that the conversion rate to doors mm -hmm. was below the company goal so yeah. what i'm trying to explain to you is that just in one month the marketing has gotten more efficient mm -hmm. and cost less yeah in 30 days based on this exercise let's go to march yeah. look at that wow even yep. less red. Okay. Yep. Now, what I did after this is now I've decided that AdWords is going to be a um, focus of my attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. 60 days, haven't really generated too much of anything. And I spent 1066 bucks on it. Okay. Yeah. All property. 33 leads, five opportunities for a 15, but this is getting actually worse. Yeah. And I'm spending about $2,000 a, a, a month on it or more, 3,000. Yeah. Very short. As of April, I don't do all property management anymore. Yeah. I'm completely yep. off because the cost yep. to run those campaigns far exceeds what I'm getting in as a return for that campaign. And you couldn't yep. figure that out if you didn't do this exercise. Yep, your total cost per strategy is up, and your cost per you know your cost per door is yeah is too high, and yep, and you yeah. see it very clearly in this in this spreadsheet. It's there's a, there's a it's reason, in red. There's a reason why this number right here, mm -hmm. okay, is so important, and I'll tell that at the end. But okay, <laughs> double mortgage, two leads. Double mortgage is a networking event. It's cost okay. me 500 bucks, $250. Yep. But since I'm getting leads and I'm getting opportunities and they're closing, my only yeah. concern about this campaign is that I need to generate more leads when I'm there. I need to talk to more people. I need to get more business cards. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to try and work harder when I'm at the, at the networking event. But yeah. other than that, everything I'm doing in the month of March mm. is pretty much good. So then I yeah. Go, okay. And, and I just want well, I just, I just want to point out a couple of things, and we don't have much more time. But but the, the website, 
I mean, look at all the, look at all the leads coming from the website. That, uh, that is like, that's, that's your, that's that long term. You know, you guys have more reviews than any other company in the world. I've just got to point that out. I mean, and that's, that is what's generating that for all you guys that are questioning. Don't question anymore. Okay. There's well, your results. If you're questioning uh, e-marketing at all, if you take a second and look at my campaigns, over 50% of what I do marketing is all on the internet in some yeah. way, shape or form. Okay. Well, yeah. And, and, but, but more and more importantly though, like I'm just, I'm just trying to say that, that organic, like because you've spent the time from the beginning to do, to, to do the local SEO and to do the reputation management marketing, you guys now have, you know, you're, you're more than 40, 50% of your leads are still coming from organic, you know? Yep. And I did another exercise today. I'll talk to you about at the end too. So okay. now if you go to April, you notice on April, there's a little bit more red, but that's because we changed our goals. Now, AdWords, most likely, is probably going to be stopped here pretty quick. Yeah. Facebook, if you notice in January, Facebook, 14 leads, 8 opportunities. February, 22, 15. March, 18, 16. April, 25, 8. What, that, what I'm trying to explain to you is that we have gotten – so much better on Facebook that we're gen it is now our second largest lead generation source and yep. we're closing more doors from that source. Okay. Wow. So the one thing that I want everybody to understand is that this gives you a picture month to month of what's working, what's not, and what the costs are. So now if we take all this information, I've also created yep. what I call a quick look. Okay. Yeah. What this is, is this is just the most important numbers that I need. This, you look at this for five seconds and you know exactly how good or not the marketing and sales department's running. Yeah. In general. So basically what you're doing, I mean, just, just, just to be clear, basically what he's doing is he just, he just summarized, he's, he's adding up all the bottom line numbers for the entire month for all the different, um, the, the different uh, marketing sources. And that's right. what he's looking at. Exactly. I'm, I'm summarizing the results of the campaigns. Each, each month, yep. Each month. So in January, we hadn't made all these changes yet. 168 leads for 63 opportunities. 38% conversion rate, 40 was the goal. Doors conversions, 37% was the goal. conversion rate. Look at our costs, okay? Yeah. Wow, Costs. these are great. Like, here, here, guys, here's what I want you. If you're a property management company and you wondered what can be, what, what is possible, these are huge. Just, just knowing these numbers that, that Kevin is showing you here is just pure, like goodness. Like you, it, you've got to understand like the, and it, cause I'm always being asked number one, people are always asking me if Facebook actually works to, to actually generate leads. Okay. Number, number one, I just wanted to circle back on that. Number two, it, and it does obviously based on what it's the second most, you know, the, the highest lead generation source. Now, the other thing is, is so that you're seeing here what the real cost per opportunity is in a real company. That's a property management company. If you compare this, and I would argue a little bit with Kevin here, that it really is that customer lifetime value. But even if you just look at the, at the year value, the one year value of these, of these um, leads that, that, turn into door, that turn into doors that you can actually like, you know, you know, monetize, like look at cost per door. You're only spending $292 right at the end there. Like that is the bottom line. If yeah. you're spending two ninety two and you're generating at least, it's got to be generating at least fifteen hundred dollars, you know, on a yearly basis. And I know that a lot of you, your average, okay. the average that I hear is typically three years that you retain, you know, these doors. But, yeah. but yeah, I, I mean, even, yeah. And I want to make that perfectly clear. I don't disagree with with Ryan on the uh, on the lifetime value. We base our company's numbers goals on an annual value. And an ad, the total revenue, uh, average revenue per door for us is about three thousand dollars a year. So based on that number, that's where we came up with these goals. So I want to be clear: Ryan is correct. Lifetime value is important, but I'm measuring this based on an annual basis for to for the health of the company. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Now, yep. you fast forward four months. Okay, I've done all this fine tuning. My number of leads have gone down. Yes, they have. But what's more important is my number of opportunities 
has only basically gone down about five to eight total. Yeah. All right. And look at the cost where it's come down in four months based on this exercise. Yeah. Okay. So Three. now there's, there's something that I told you earlier that I want to wrap this up with. I was spending $25,000 a month on three cities to generate mm -hmm. 168 leads, 63 opportunities and getting these results. Yeah. Four months later, I'm now spending and I'm not stuttering mm -hmm. about $4,000 a month and I'm yeah. getting better numbers across the board. Yeah. For the company. That's it. I'm saving the That's company. $21,000 a month to its bottom line and still generating the same results, if not better results. In terms of income. Yeah. And, and that, and that right there, I mean, that is what paying attention to your numbers allows you to do when you, what, what you pay attention to improves. That's the bottom line. And when you pay attention to the numbers and the right numbers, and you've got all the right numbers right here, mm -hmm. so there's no excuse. And you know, even you can even see how to lay it out. This is it. I'm telling you this, this is, and it's, and you can use Google docs to create it or Google or Excel or mm -hmm. numbers or whatever you want to use. But bottom line is, is anybody can do this. And this is what every, this is what every company that, that I'm working with does so that we can, so that you can identify, I don't care what you're doing to generate leads. I mean, even if it's not, if it's offline, it still needs to be put on this sheet so that you can identify the winners from the losers is the bottom line. So, Man, I mean, is there, that's, that's huge, Kevin. I mean, the only other thing that I, that I would like to add to that is just that um, if you go back to that other spreadsheet again, the, the, the summary is, um, is, that, is that, you know, you guys in your industry, it is very important to circle back on this. An opportunity is different than a, a door because you've got a, so a lot, some opportunities have multiple doors. And so it is important to separate those two out. Yeah. That's why these numbers yeah. are not the same. See right yep. here, we had, we converted six clients. And what I mean by client is, I mean, Ryan. Ryan came yep. to me, 26 different Ryans came to me and said, I'm, I like to be property manager. But yep. one Ryan, yeah. March, had 39 doors. Yeah. That's why these numbers are not the same. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. Doors. Yeah, and that and that's the beauty of what, and that's why it's so important to do it this way because those are you got to look at both of those numbers because you you might have you might be in the red on one but in the green on the other and and that's a good question for you to wrap it up on. Would you, if you were still on out of your numbers and the cost per conversion or co cost per conver uh, conversion? But you were within your numbers on the cost per door. I'd feel pretty good about myself if I were you. Wouldn't wouldn't you okay. agree? Yeah. The only thing yeah. that I would, I would recommend based on that scenario is that you would have to uh, close more more clients. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so clients and that number will turn green. And and that's that's the beauty. That go, goes right back to what we were saying is is that Kevin knows when anything's red here exactly what to go and address. The yeah. problem is, is that you don't know what to address if you don't know the numbers. He knows exactly where to go. And Kevin can even get a little bit more granular. I know there's some stories that you shared about, you know, how you, you know, you, you, you know, you went to, you know, you, you went to sales, you know, and, and you talked to them and, and, and learned some things and, and, and that helped, you know, get your conversions up. And it, it's this really, cause that's the big battle, right? Is, is between marketing and sales. Sales is always saying, that the leads aren't good enough and marketing or, and, or, you know, the other way around and marketing is always saying that the sales or that the leads are great, but the sales, you know, they're just not converting and, you know, they're just not good at, at selling. And so it's like this constant battle. And, um, and this helps you to really, you know, kind of separate things out and, and, and segregate things out. And I think it's what just this awesome. does is it eliminates that battle because yeah. the numbers don't lie. Yeah. If the goal is on the top of the spreadsheet and the goals are being met on one side and they're not being met on the other, then you know yeah. exactly what department you have to go to, to, to fix the challenge. Yeah. If we were converting, if we were converting um, under the 35% and the conversion of the doors number under that, and we were only getting 30 leads a month, 
Well, then obviously that's a marketing challenge because yeah. the sales department is closing the opportunities we're getting. We're just not getting enough opportunities. But if we're yeah. getting 50 or 60 opportunities a month and they're only closing 10 doors a month, it's not a marketing problem. It's a sales problem. So this tells you what department you need to go to to fix the challenge. Yeah, where, exactly where to go to fix your, fix your problem. So it's awesome, Kevin. So well, how do people get a hold of you? What, um, if they have any questions, you know, how do people get a hold of What's the best way if people are watching this and they want to maybe connect with you? Is there, is there a best way to do that? Oh, yeah. You can either email me at Kevin, K-E-V-I-N, at EmpireIndustriesLLC.com. Or you can give me a call. Uh, call me on my direct line. It goes to my cell phone, 713-678-0093. Awesome. And, and Kevin, any, uh, well, and if you want to get a, you know, if you have any questions, I would just, you know, post and comment below the video, any questions you have, we'll respond within 24 hours. Um, and you know, if you, accelerate marketing, if you have any questions for us, you can obviously call us, uh, go to our website. Um, you can just 619-304-5155. Um, again, 619-304-5155. Any parting last minute, you know, tips or, or anything else that you want to share before we, we end? Just one. What I've learned over the last five years and, and, and recently doing this exercise, if anybody asks you if you know your numbers and you say yes and you don't know these numbers, you don't know your <laughs> Exactly. Uh, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. I love it, Kevin. Thank you. I'm going to sure. thank you guys. If you have any questions, let us know. And uh, that's a wrap. Talk to you soon. See you soon, guys. Thanks.